and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Sandy Bay, the roleplay series. But before we get into the roleplay stuff, a couple of things to say. First of all, massive thank you to everybody that watched the first video and gave me your feedback. So glad to be back. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the whole series. Uh, second of all, I had a few complaints about this McCormick tractor here. This is actually a real tractor. There's an image. Yeah, there are some things on this tractor that don't come with the real McC life McCormick one. But then again, cased pumas don't come with four million strobe lights and... A straight pipe that I could probably put my head into, but people put it on anyway. So yeah, but I'm keeping this McCormick. I put it in the game because I like it and I wanted to use it. So I'm keeping it in. A couple of people did like it, so glad uh, you guys did. Actually, there's one more thing. I'm currently recording this April 5th, April 4th, Saturday, which means I need to do one thing. Bear with me. It's WrestleMania weekend, so I'm wearing my belt. WrestleMania is tonight at the time of recording this, so yeah, I'm wearing my belt. Why not? It's really heavy though because it's made of metal. But anyway, let's jump into it. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, morning everybody. How you all doing? Nice and early at the farm here. So we've actually already left the house today. We've uh, gone to the store and took some things back. So if you guys saw the first vlog we did here on the channel, by the way, you can't really see it from here. I'll get the drawing out in a minute. Billy Bob was already out working down there. He's got the plow out early morning. Um, yeah, we had that bale tray that was here when we started working. We actually sold that this morning and we bought a different one. Because I did the math in my head. Uh, we needed to get a cattle trailer ready for when we got our cows back. For those of you that missed episode number one, the previous boss had to sell all the cows just to stay afloat. So we need to get some more. So we have a cattle trailer. But this is also a barrel trailer. Which we're actually going to disconnect now. So we'll disconnect that here somewhere. There we go. Let's get that disconnected. We've got the... We've got the uh, axle stands. What do you call them axle stands? I would. We've got the axle stands down. Ready to leave this thing here. Basically we attach these to the side. And then we can pull the actual base of this trailer out. And it becomes a barrel trailer. So it's two and one. So we sold ours. And then we bought this one. We, of course, this one was a little bit more expensive. But uh, I think it ended up costing us about... With, after selling our tractor, I think it ended up costing us about £4,000. It's not too, too bad. Let's go ahead and jump into the fence. Alright, let's get the GoPro on our head here. There we go. Oh, cool. Right, let's get it turned on. Let's get it turned on. There we go. She didn't start then. That was a bit worrying. Don't need a tractor breaking down on us already. I'll get into forward. So I'm actually going to get the drone out so you guys can see me slip this from underneath the cattle trailer. I'll come out nice and slowly here. We do have our beacon lights and stuff. Probably turn them off. Uh, where's my lights? There we go. And we're out. There we go. Now when we need to get some cattle or we transport some cattle, we can just slide our bale trailer underneath that thing. And... We have a cattle trailer. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's go pipe this thing up. We've actually got a couple things to do today. Should be quite a fun vlog. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we actually need this trailer today because we need to take the bags off the Chieftain and put it on. Uh, put the bags onto here, which could take a few minutes. Uh, I'll probably time lapse that or we'll skip that. I don't want to bore you guys too, too much. Let's swing around here. Right, I'm probably going to leave a... Uh, We'll crash into the wall. Probably gonna leave it like this, I reckon. Yeah, we'll leave it like this. So let's get the engine off because we're probably gonna be here for a a while. There we go. So if you guys missed the first vlog we did, uh, when I actually arrived here in town, we were granted with a very nice home warming present. Somebody broke all four of our windows on the doors. You can kind of see the broken glass there. Now we could drive this down to the workshop or to the garage, but um. I don't really want to risk wind blowing through and blowing glass into my eyes or something. So we're going to go transport it down. And we're also have a rental a vehicle left. So they don't actually rent cars out. I'll explain more of that in a second. My Google just beeped. So yeah, we actually have a rental vehicle ready to go. Um, here's some more pieces of that trailer we bought this morning, by the way. We've got a round bale cage or add-on for this. And we also got a logging one for it as well. So if we want to use it for that, we can. Need to get that out as well. Probably tomorrow. We've got some weeds growing on one of our fields already, which isn't good. But yeah, let's get this door open for now. I'm going to get out the... I was saying pause. And apparently it's... I forgot already. Rainbow Dave did tell me, but I forgot. Um, let's jump into this. Oh, wrong button. Let's get it turned on. 
Make sure she's still connected. Yes, she is. Right, so there's the Chieftain trailer. We need to get all these bags off because we need the trailer. So, um, can this thing go on here? Let's see if we can lift the trailer onto here without uh, making it lift up too much because the hitches are a different size on this, unfortunately. A different heights, I should say. Stop her there. That should do. Okay, no, it's going to be way too high. It's going to be way too high if we do that. So let's let's get the McCormick. Let's pull this thing out. We'll get the McCormick out, and then we'll pull the trailer out. We'll leave this in this shed for a minute. Uh, let's leave her warming up, shall we? First time we've turned her on today. Right. Yeah. Let's get the McCormick. Get the handbrake off. Swing this one around. I like this McCormick. Like I said, we need to get rid of it at some point because it is the oldest tractor we have here on the farm, but we'll deal with that later on. I don't know what we're going to replace it with. I think I said in the last vlog I was looking at a John Deere 6M. Kind of want one of them. They're really nice tractors, those. Um, hope if I put it into reverse simulate. Well done, sir. Can we get her at an angle here? Get the handbrake on. Right, just for a bit of safety, we're going to throw the ratchet straps over just in case something goes wrong. Cool, so we got her on the hitch. We just need to go ahead and attach the brakes and stuff now and the electrics. Well, that should do her. Should start filling up the, uh, the brakes now, the brake cylinder. Let's get this into drive and we'll pull her up see if we can get as close to the shed as we can it's gonna be a bit tight it shouldn't weigh too much actually to be fair i know this is gonna make no sense you guys are gonna be like why the hell did you do that i'm not gonna bother putting them on the trailer there's no point for it so what we're going to do actually i want to get this turned off what we're going to do instead is just unload them and we'll put them in the shed by themselves i think that's a better idea so let's go ahead and get our strap our ratchet straps taken off here can I get that one that's a bit stuck at the corner there? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, we're good. We are good. So, yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of this at first. I might, seeing as we're not going to the fence anymore, what I'm actually going to do is reverse the McCormick back a bit, and we'll make a start on this. Right, so that's the bags unloaded. Let's go ahead and get this door closed. You never know. Uh, right, let's get this disconnected. That disconnected. Right, jump into her. Um, I didn't actually put the handbrake on that. It could have been ended very badly. Right, um, right what we're going to do is leave the McCormick here. The McCormick brakes are terrible. I need to get them looked at. Right, let's get that disconnected. Get that disconnected. Um, turn her on. So yeah, obviously we're taking the fence down. I don't really want to be on the road with a McCormick, especially with a trailer on. Um, right, let's get it turned around. Oh, is we going to make it? No, we're going to leave it here anyway. So yeah, we're going to pull the McCormick forward, we're going to get the bale trailer on the McCormick, and then we're going to get the fen on the Chieftain. Fish, bash, bosh. And then we can finally take the Land Rover down. So yeah, we're picking up a rental car. We've got a couple of jobs to do as well. We actually need to get back into the... Uh, the Teddy Handler? Is it Teddy Handler? Does that count as a Teddy Handler? I assume it does. We're going to get back into the loader. Let's just call it a loader. Right, we're at an angle, but it should work. Get the electrics and brakes plugged in. And we'll move out of the way. Cool. So that's going to stay there till we are done later on. Finally, we can get the fent onto the Chieftain. This has been a bit of a long-winded back and forth situation, but needs to be done. Needed to get the Chieftain unloaded. I don't know why I bothered turning it around a second ago, because we actually need to reverse down this back alley. Giggity. 
There's a the Land Rover. So yeah, once again, the plan is to take that down. We'll get looked at. We'll pick up the rental vehicle, which we're bringing back on the Chieftain. Should fit. It's pretty big, but it should fit. Right. Let's get that hooked up. Attach the brakes, hydraulics, and electrics. And we're good to go. We don't need them just yet, but we'll get our beacon lights on for in a second. Oh, we're going to go out the back door. Surprisingly, I've always thought of this as the front entrance to the farm, but technically this is the back. I suppose. Uh, is it the front? Could be the front. Could be the back. Right. Let's get the chieftain ramps put down, shall we? There's the front piece. The first piece, even. Pin. Bar. And drop that one. That one should slowly start coming down with the help of gravity now. Right, back into the dodgy Land Rover. We're going to get the door locked out as well. If you guys missed the first vlog we did, the driver's door is also broken and is smashed now. Could have climbed through the window, done it Dukes of Hazard style, but never mind. Right. Um, do a little three point turn here. We're pointless looking at the back of this thing. So, yeah, once again, I could have just drove this down, but I didn't want to risk glass flying into my eye because there's broken glass all along the outside here on all four doors, ironically. So, we'll get that looked at. Oh, this is a hate going up these ramps. You can never see how far off the edge you are. Uh, how are we looking there? Looking good. Bring it back a little bit. Cool. Landry was loaded up. We've got quite a lot of extra room here as well. I would throw the straps over the wheels, but I don't think we necessarily need to for this short journey. Right, we'll get back into the fence. Actually, we get the, the uh, ladder up, don't we? Not ladder, you know what I mean. The ramp is the first one up. Get this one up too. Cool, so let's actually hit, hit the road finally. So. How are you guys doing? I haven't actually said that today. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are staying safe with all this uh, coronavirus malarkey. Luckily, we're here on the farm, so don't really have too much contact with anyone. And we'll head out, shall we? So we don't actually need a vehicle. I just don't really want to be driving a tractor around everywhere unless we necessarily need to. So I'm looking to start up my side business for the summertime a bit. Farm work, as you guys already know, if you're watching this, I assume you're into farming. A little bit bare in the summer. We've got silage and then not really a whole lot of everything else. So we're going to get our summer business up and running. Here we're good on the corner there. Pop the GoPros at a good angle. I did try to adjust it so it didn't make you guys feel so sick. But it does mean it's a bit clicky, if that makes sense. Like there's like there's I'm moving my head a bit here, but nothing's happening. And then it... Like a little click, it clicks out. That's so you guys don't get too motion sick. Although I need to do it with the up and down as well. Forgot to do it with that. Right, here we are. It's actually pretty quiet down here. Of course, this uh, whole COVID-19 thing's not killing businesses, but they're a bit quieter. There's our rental vehicle. We've got a little John Deere Gator to replace the Land Rover. Bit of a big jump, I know, but never mind. All right, let's get the handbrake on a second. Get the Land Rover unloaded. Bring this ramp back down. Let's get the clip out. Oh, cool. I jumped up on the trailer. Let's get the clip out of this one. Drop it down, we should be good to go. Once again, broken door, unfortunately, so we have to go around this side. Uh, hope I've turned her on. Let's just go down. We can't really hit anything, can we? Cool. See, so yeah, like I said, we could have drove this down, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Right, let's leave her in here. So, actually, this is not my truck. This is not my car. This is the owner's car, if you guys watched the first vlog. 
Working on getting mine. Mine's on the other side of the country, so I need to get it careered. I couldn't find anyone willing to drive to the other side of the country for me. Right, let's jump into the gator. Let's go get the keys first. Well, that would help. How do I get in? Hello? There we go. Right. Got the keys to the gator. This is the one with the two trailer hitches, which is nice. Right, let's see if she starts. Kind of cosy in here. For the this it's not actually that slightly today, but in this nice weather, I kind of wish we had the one with no roof. Never mind, beggars can't be choose. This thing's brand, brand new. Look, zero hours on the clock. Break this one then, won't we? Go for a little, uh, if we have a, a bit of free time later, we might take it off-roading. Who knows? It is also uh, left-hand drive, which is a bit of a bad thing, but never mind. Right, stop here. Handbrake on, get it turned off. Cool. So let's take this thing back to the farm, shall we? Damn ra Land Rover. I think this thing's got a top speed of 32 miles now, which isn't too bad. Should get us around the yard at least. Right. Let's get these ramps up once again. Clip her in. And this one. Should have turned the beacon off, just in case it hit the ground, but... Much way. Right. Let's get this thing back to the yard. I'll probably turn the GoPro off for this part because you guys saw me drive down here. Um, and we'll actually get on with some proper work for once, shall we? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Right, okay, so we're back at the farmhouse. This is what I always considered the front of this farm, even when I used to work here back in 2015. Come on, up you get. Oh, she's struggling up here. Let's get some four-wheel drives on, shall we? See, so yeah, I've always considered this the main entrance to the farm. What do you guys think? You guys have had the tour of the farm. What would you consider... Uh... Oh, I'm getting the hand throttle on. My foot's going to go dead if I carry on up this hill. Hey, yeah, what do you guys consider the front of the farm? Like I said, this is like, to me, the road going into the farm, so it's this one. But then it kind of goes to the back of the farm, so I'm not sure. Maybe this is the back entrance to the farm? Giggity. I don't know. So what I forgot to tell you this morning when we started the vlog. Um, John Wayne and I didn't see eye to eye. So John Wayne has now gone to work at the main farm with the boss. And we have Lacey, who is the apprentice. Right, let's get this handbrake on. Let's get it turned off. Let's get this... On. Oh, we're on a bit of a hill here. This is going to be very interesting getting the gator off. That's not even going to touch the ground, is it? Dang it. Okay, we'll drop this one. And we'll scrape it along the floor for a minute. Scraper along the ground. Probably get my four wheel drive off as well, won't I? Ooh, we're going to be scraping metal now. Go slow, I don't want to scrape it too much. That should do it. Are we flat? Yes, there we go. Right, so actually, I'm going to, before we unload this, I'll get the drone from the house. And then uh, we'll check out and see how Billy Bob's getting on. I got the drone. It was literally uh, just inside the front door. Could have probably kept the camera going, but never mind. Get this turned on. Oh, I need to be careful because we are a little bit off to the right there so we can actually get in. Cool. And we got her. Get her in forward. And we'll go check out and see what Billy Bob's doing. So I don't want to make him feel like I'm checking up on him. So we're going to go a little bit far away. Not far away. Ooh, I keep forgetting about that bump. Add that to my to-do list. So we're probably going to hide over here and get the drone up in the air. He's not in this field, he's in the next field, but I don't want him to think we're spying on him. Really just looking for content for the YouTube vlog. Alright, stop this here. Get that turned off. Oh, we've got some weeds growing. That's one of the jobs we have to do. Right, let's get the drone out. Alright, so as we fly over this field here, we can see we've got quite some big patches of weed here. Now, I've got to work out whether we should put some... Pesticides down, or use the weeder that we have. The problem is, it's nice and fertilised and stuff. Anyway, let's see how he's getting on. There's Billy Bob. And the Massey with the plough. He's done quite a lot. I'd say he's just over halfway. As you can see, he's doing the headlands last. Let's go a bit lower, shall we? Beep. There he is. Look at him go. What a good boy. He's been at this since about 7am. 
And he's only just done about half the field. I'm not sure what time it is at the moment. You go, Billy Bob. You get this field ploughed. So as you can tell, we did put some manure down. You can kind of see the uh, splattering of it over there. So he's ploughing the manure in. Speaking of manure, there's a John Deere there. I wonder what farm he belongs to. Uh, yeah, he's ploughing the manure in now. Cultivate it in, probably get some more fertiliser down maybe. And then we need to get it all seeded. I'm going to try and do all the seeding in one day for both fields. We only have two arable fields, so it's not going to take too long. It'll probably make a day of it from uh, early morning till probably work through the night. We'll see how we get on. I need to get those weeds out of there first of all. So yeah, we're going to keep the seeding until this is done. But anyway, Billy Bob's doing a good, good job. Should we go skip, pay him a visit? Let's see how close we can get the tractor without him seeing us. Uh, right, let's get back. Oh, wrong button. Let's get back. Okay, so whilst we are back at the gate and I've put the drone away, uh, I'll quickly get up the PDA here and you guys can see what I'm seeing. So a lot, oh, yeah, lot. 31, field 31, field 32 needs fertilizing. Field 21 technically does, but it's a sheep field. So I don't know if I want to do that because they might eat the uh, nitrogen and we'd obviously we don't want that. Um, as far as our field, we actually also have one which the boss told me about which I didn't know about, is we also have one over here. And it's tiny, so we have to... Well, that one's actually fertilised, according to this PDA. And um, that is tiny. The reason the boss bought that one is because... You, don't know if you can see it on the GPS here, but there's a bit of roadworks going on there. A bit of, they're laying down some pipes. So this land was going pretty cheap, so he picked that up. Um, I personally want to buy this lot here. This is lot 41, and I think that this will be ideal for potatoes, personally. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. So yeah, the problem is, this lot is going for... Oh, hang on. This lot's going for 121,000. That's a long way off. So yeah, let's go ahead and get back into the fence. We'll get the fertilizer spreader on. And we'll get some nitrogen put down, shall we? Um, I need to get a bit better at taking the handbrake off. There we go. This thing's kind of cool. I might look into buying one of these. The problem is, it's like 20 grand to buy a Gator. Not sure if it can make me 20 grand. That's the problem. So I don't just want to buy vehicles for the sake of having them. Uh, I would need them to make me money back. So maybe when our summer project comes along, we could uh, have a look at that. Let's pull this into here for now. Oh, I did turn it off. Well done, Sim. Lacey, you just stand there, love. Well, I had no jobs for her today, so she's just chilling. Chickens are arriving tomorrow. I forgot to tell you that at the start as well. So we need to get some seeds for them. There's a couple of things left in the silo from the last owner that was here. That's manager. Even more a farm manager. Not for those of you that missed the first one. Not a farm owner. Right. Let's get this thing taken over here. So once again, I keep saying this, but I need to keep everyone... Uh, up to date. If you'd missed the first vlog, we have two fertilizer spreaders, which means we have to pull one out and uh, move it to the side and then get the other one. Now, I am looking at selling our fertilizer spreader. I personally don't get on with it. I don't like the way it's built and stuff like that. So I'm looking at a second-hand sulky. I like sulky, personally. It's what we used on our previous farms while I was in between 2015 and now. I need to get the, that out of the way as well. So this is the one we use for lime. And this is the one we use for nitrogen. I don't like the coon, unfortunately. So we're going to probably sell this one. It's nice and clean, though. The boss cleaned it for when we got here. Or some of the staff cleaned it for when I got here. Um, we're probably going to get rid of this and get a sulky instead. All right, let's get this out of the way. Well, can I do a U-turn in here without hitting anything? Maybe. Yes, yeah, look at that. Get this parked out of the way. Get it turned off. I'll bring that down in a minute. So yeah, let's get the... I should have bought the McCormick over, but I can't bother. Let's get this fertilizer spreader out of the way. And we'll get the Coon one out. But I don't, luckily, need to... 
touch anything because we're literally just moving out of the way. We don't need the lights. We don't need the PTO. It's temporarily put in this shed here just in case it rains. Doubt it, but you never know. Right, let's swing around. Finally, we can actually start doing some work. So yeah, like I said, we're going to be doing the small grass fields. We're going to lay some nitrogen down them because we need to start getting some cow food ready before the cows get here. That should be good. Look at the PTO. Not PTO, sorry. The free point is pretty much dead in line. I'm actually going to come forward a little bit because we can lower the three point, can't we? Right, let's get that hooked on. Now we need the PTO. We'll turn the plugs in first. Now the PTO, we should be good. Coon Axis. I don't know why I don't get off of this one. I'm just not a fan of it. Not used to it. That's probably the main problem. Right, let's pull her out. Stop. Handbrake. Lower. Keep the fan running. Get those juices flowing. Right, where did I park the uh, thing? It was in here, wasn't it? Oh, dang it. I also left the bags we need in the middle. That's going to get messy. It's going to get messy. Right, let's get some of these loaded up. This thing turns on a dime. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, yeah, this thing does have a party trick. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these before. It also has a party trick, which I'll show you guys later on. You can actually fully turn the uh, front 90 degrees. Technically 180 degrees. 90 degrees each way, I mean. It's 180 degrees altogether. Um, right, where is the forks? Straighten them out. Lower it down to the correct height. Roughly about there. Got two. That should do her. Look at that. Oh, we dropped one. Oh, we dropped one. These forks are hard to get used to. Never mind. We might be using both today. Might not be. Right, gonna get the boom up a little bit. And we'll start filling her up. So I wish that I've got John Deere going again. He's unloading that manure fast. Uh, did we do it? Okay, there's one bag done. Let's bring the boom back in here. That would have been no idea if I had managed to keep the second bag on. It's because I reversed too quickly and I didn't have it on the fork far enough, unfortunately. I am a noob. Got this at an angle. We should be good. That's about in line there. Right, there we go. Tilt that up so it doesn't fall off again. Get the boom up in the air again. How's she looking? Spread it out a bit. So that's actually not completely empty. I don't think we can get any more in here. So let's go ahead. Take the fan out. Right, we don't want to lift the spreader up just yet. There we go. Right, let's get the cover on. We can do that from the back window, luckily. Just push it. <laughs> Give it a little shove. Right, let me make sure we're going to the right field. So 31, 32. So I might be turning field 31 probably next year now because it's a bit too late. I might do it in the winter. Um, 31 is eventually going to be an arable field. Put some cereal in there. Oh, this is going to be a bit, a bit of an idiotic move, but we'll do it real quick. Make sure no cars come. There's nothing coming just yet. I love this fun. Let's get the hazard lights off, indicator off, beacons off. Why are our lights on? Let's go ahead and turn those off. Right, let's make a start on this. I bought the drone with me, so let's get the drone up in the air. Uh, I'm going to put the radio on as well. Where is it? Up there. So you guys sit back, enjoy, and we'll get this field done. Hopefully we'll get both fields done today. Who knows?
Okay, ready. So we have now finished doing these two grass fields. That should be them done for, well, probably the first. It's definitely something wrong with the uh, hydraulics in this thing. Um, yeah, that should do it until the first cut. We've got some lime down on this one, and also now some nitrogen. So, right, let's head out of here. Billy Bob's almost finished. Just started the headlands last time I spoke to him, so. That field should be ready for cultivating any time soon. Get out of here. Let's cut across here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and actually leave this vlog here. I think that's enough content for one day. I'll split the rest of it up into another one. Look, all this done, and it's only 9.30. Interesting. Um, yeah, I've got a couple more jobs to do. I'll probably get that in a different vlog. But thank you very, very much for joining me in this one. If you guys did enjoy, please tap that thumbs up button. It really, really, really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate, and I'll see you in the next one. Right.